Good morning, guys. Good morning. It is it's really bright. Tuesday morning. It's really bright. No, it's not. It's Tuesday morning. We are shooting today, as you can see, oh, with Gabrielle. Dog. Oh, the dog. <laughs> oh, the dog's really cute. <laughs> it's oh, a little, I'm so excited. Oh my god. It's like a little fried chicken. Oh my god, oh, my god it's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> We are filming um, a documentary this morning with Gabrielle, who's behind us, um, which is very exciting. Um, <clears throat> it's Tuesday morning, I did say that. We are decked out in cool outfits, not just our regular gym gear outfits. Um, and so we're shooting we're all- We're like put thought and effort into it. <laughs> um, we're shooting all day today, uh, filming all day today. We're gonna be going to um, a cafe now, just film some like really cool like chill scenes, do an interview, meet up with Katie later, um, and shooting some, taking some photos, actual, like outfits for our blog, as well as meeting one of our followers, which is very exciting. Yeah, sorry, I vlog yesterday, we literally did nothing. Yeah. Um, so, is this welcome to a new weekly vlog? Welcome oh, yeah. Welcome to a new weekly vlog. Welcome to a new weekly vlog. It's started. It is. Yeah. And it's a bit grisly today. It is. It's kind it's of sunny today. It's not actually sunny today. No. It's negative sunny. Oh, well. That's fine. So, we'll, oh my gosh, my arm's really sore. We did Pilates yesterday. My arm's really sore. Is your arm sore? <coughs> Yeah, my arms. I did intermediate springs on the arm part, and I regret it. Used to that because my arms are really sore. But oh anyway, Ari can wear the Holden Center. Anyway, we'll catch you guys in a little bit. We are at Bedwood Fitzroy. I am um, freezing. It is so cold. <laughs> um, but this is my outfit for the day. I am wearing this H uh, and M Studio snuggly brown turtleneck. It is so snug. It's amazing. I feel like I'm in a cloud. Um, I'm wearing. <laughs> Um, this chosen the label slip dress underneath. It's like a speedy strap slip dress. Um, my raucous slides with my white feet because they're so cold. Um, my Melly Mellow bag that I've been thrashing. I you really have really, been. It's really practical. Like it's that perfect bucket. Yeah. I said I can't put the strap on. It's really annoying. Anyway, oh. I'm wearing my Givenchy. No. Here you are. Hurt. I'm wearing my Givenchy glasses from the iLab. I'm wearing these beautiful new earrings from Alix Yang. Yeah, very nice. They're stunning. And that's my outfit. And what are you wearing, Marissa? This is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing a very off Miller and Mark blazer um, that I've buttoned up. I've got a long sleeve from Zen with a label on underneath. I've got this new skirt that I got from ASOS, which has water stains on it because it's ASOS and cheap material. But it's really nice, like silk. It's really pretty. Um, I've got. Um, Vic and Woods slides on and my Chanel walk. Walk. What about your jewelry? No. Um, my Kirsten Ash necklace is the M1. Um, I've got, and my other two are from Greece with Jolly and Dean. This one yeah. here, the square is Jolly and Dean. Is Jolly and Dean. And what earrings are you wearing? None. None. No earrings. I'm just wearing um, uh, glasses from the eye lab. Also, Givenchy. Also, Givenchy glasses. Let's go eat. Hopefully none of us will cry. I might. Yeah. Um, this is 
girl apparently she loves us, she's Greek as well and she means really to our faith, which is so important for us. So, um, Where should we go out? How long has she been there, you reckon? She just got there. Okay. This is by a brand called Frank, Frank Green. Really cool. Used it first time. Love it. Um, just at Boda, like I said, getting my hair done. I'm going a little bit blonder. I'll show you. So this is how hopefully my hair will look after. Um, but yeah, going to be here for a while doing work. Got my laptop. Uh, but I'll show you my outfit. So I was wearing my Camilla Mark blazer, which is just there. But I'm wearing this Harris Tupper shirt we got from let me show you New Zealand for New Zealand Fashion Week. Um, my Zara jeans and my Ash trainers. These are hit and miss everywhere, but I thought I'd rock them. And my stored bag. That's also stored. Um, my um, Melly Melly bag. And Alex Yang earrings. Hey guys. <clears throat> so I am all done at the hairdressers. This is my hair. It's super fresh, super blonde, super light. Really excited, really happy with it. Um, which is, sorry, I should bring it out a bit. Which is great. Um, we, I, we, I am just in the car solo. I am parked on St. Kilda Road. I'm going to go to the one, two agency media showings or for their um, spring racing launch. It's really exciting. Um, yeah, but love the color. It's super creamy, super light, super bright. It's probably the blondest I've been in a long time. It's kind of hard to see in this light, but I love it. Got a bit of trim as well, which is nice. Um, trying this new lipstick that we got from Clarins yesterday. Uh, it is the Jolly Rouge Brilliant Nude Brick by Clarins. It's beautiful. It's kind of like a lip gloss, but a tinted lip gloss, which is my technical way of saying it. Um, but it's beautiful, and I love it. So... Yeah, I should go pay for parking quickly and then walk to the showing. So I'll show you guys when I'm in there, obviously. Not even the evening out. It's like night time. It's 10 15. Um, I am tired. Just been doing some work. And I made two orders. Huh. Um, one off Shop Bob and one off Zara. Shop Bob have a sale. And so I, um, made two purchases oh two orders one i got um our subi high-waisted mum jeans the clo high-waisted mum jeans in the exact same color that i've got that like sort of mid blue um it's called bay blue um that i've thrashed them in size 27 i got another pair because i can't find them in australia they're sold out online and in store so they had them at shop up so i bought them immediately i was weighing up whether to get the smaller size so we got 27s i'm actually get 26 because it is they are um they get quite baggy but stuck with 27s and i'll probably get them tailored um, and then i bought a like what they call clear perspex hand top handle bag and by bought i mean um we do shop up 
shop up blog posts every month we get um a 300 dollar gift voucher each every month oh, sorry a 300 dollar gift voucher every month um to use for blog post stuff and that kind of stuff and then i got this current this jumper that i'm wearing right now it's from zara excuse me it's from zara i bought it um eight weeks ago six weeks ago I got it in black. It came back online in black and I bought it. This is a large I'm wearing, so it's like huge, but I bought a medium. It's called just the oversized sweater. That's what it's called. And then I bought a pair of like, um, they're like, I'll show you. So these are the jeans that I purchased. Um, they are called the Jeans ZW Premium Marine Straight Jean. I purchased them with my money. Um, they're high waist with wide leg jeans with back patch pockets and frayed hem zip fly and top button. Excuse me. Top button fastening at the front. I liked the frayed ankle. I thought that was quite cute. Um, I got a size 36, which is equivalent to an Australian 8. I wanted them to be tight. I could just possibly return them. I'm un unsure. They might look awful on me. Who knows? But I thought the color was beautiful and I thought it was really nice. It's just like a, like this knit and heels, like a white t-shirt and a blazer. Um, and then I got this jumper. This is the exact one I'm wearing, just in black. It's a bloody great jumper. I've thrashed mine so much. I'm like, you know what? 60 bucks. It's called, it's literally called the oversized sweater. I keep yawning. I need to go to sleep. Any hoozy, um, that is me. I don't know how to do my hair. I think I spoke to you after I got my hair done. Obviously, it's nice and blonde and pretty, which I really love it. Um, I'm super happy with it. I've been in this light for years. Um, but I didn't get to show you inside, um, one two agency just because it was kind of awkward like there was no music on and it was kind of just like silent and so it's kind of awkward if i like spoke and blogged because everyone would have been listening in the office so i just kind of like i changed the corner and tried stuff on um got a few cool pieces um which we'll probably show you later on in the next couple of weeks or um soon i suppose but right now it's quarter past 10 i'm so tired Ooh. so i think i'm gonna go to bed i'm gonna yawn again as well <sighs> i'm so sorry i need to sleep we've got pilates at 9 a.m and a dentist appointment at 10 and then and then doing work and then i we got PT at two. So that's that. But I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. It is. Hello. It's Thursday morning. It is it's Thursday morning. 8.40 in the morning. So my face is going really bright and really dark. We're driving through cloud of shade. Um, we are going on our way now to Pilates. It's exciting. Oh, I'm just so tired. I struggled to wake up this morning. It was hard. Struggled. Um, so I go to Pilates and then I've got a dentist appointment just to like talk about next stages if I'm going to do anything with my teeth and the double that cloud. Oh my I gosh. literally was cloud. <laughs> um, and then nothing else is planned for the rest of the day in terms of like I'm seeing her. outings, events, just, just like work. work of, of desk work and I'm yeah. seeing her. Yeah. And I'm going out for dinner tonight with Chloe. Huh. Yeah, I've got a friend on plane flying over here. Huh. Anyway, so we will touch base with you guys later. Bye! Guys, happy Sunday. It's Sunday afternoon now. Um, I have stayed in bed most of the day um, because I woke up with a really headache. I had been clenching all night and my jaw was really sore and I had a headache. Oh, um. Yesterday was a really long day. Oh my gosh, like, so we were out at Fargo and Co all day. We're about 11.30. I got home at 11.30. So, it 
was a big 12 hour day. Collingwood lost the grand final. West Coast won in the last two minutes, which was um, shit. Um, but we don't drink very often, but I was drinking for most of the day yesterday. Wasn't drunk or anything, just had been drinking consistently throughout the whole day. And I woke up with the biggest, most painful pimple ever that I've had ever. It was huge just here. Oh my goodness, it's so sore. So I've got like some Mary Badescu cream on it. Oh my goodness. Like I literally looked in the mirror this morning and I was like, what is this red, sore, puffy, disgusting pimple? Anyway, um, we got delivery. I'm not sure if this came yesterday or today, but I'm just already open it. It's by a beauty brand called Beely. I think it's had a pronounce it Beely. it's gonna focus this brand Beely. so hey you have a crush on your face sans makeup super cute um so I got it in the mail it must have been yesterday or today So, we've got five products. So, we've got the first thing is a Beely Nourish Me Beely Gel Cleanser. Belly, Beely, a cocktail of antioxidant radiant, radiance boosting superfoods to gently cleanse your skin, leaving it feeling plump and luminous. So, that's that one, which is looks really nice. Um, direction softly. Or gently massage in a circular motions on damp skin and make make a milky consistency. Oh, so it's a milk cleanser. Rinse with warm water and follow with the Nourish Me Beely Tony Sprit. Excuse me. Which goes on to the next product, which is the Nourish Me Toning Spritz. Um, which is a spray, an antioxidant spruce infused with superfoods and rich berry extracts to quench thirst skin. Just spray right now. Oh, it smells like citrus. It smells like citrus. It's got goji berries, blueberry, bilberry, coconut almond derived citrus, orange essential oils, lemon citrus, lots of citrus, which is delicious. It smells really nice. That feels really nice on skin too. Um, the next is followed with Nourish Me Beely facial oil and moisturizer. So, this is the Beely Nourish Me Facial Oil. Um, it's got a little like pump. So, it's again a superfood, a superfood supercharged facial oil that delivers a myriad of antioxidants rich power ingredients to leave the skin feeling juicy and plump, which I need because the skin feels juicy and plump in other ways, in yucky ways. Um, and just press a small amount of oil onto the face. Blah. Next is the moisturizer which is this one, Nourish Me Moisturizer. Comes with a clear lid and a little pump as per expected. Um, apply a pea-sized amount of moisturizer onto your face morning and night after cleansing, avoid eye area. Great. And then the last product we got which is, is the Beely Hyaluronic, Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I'm too tired for this. It's, yeah. it's a Hyaluronic Acid Serum, which comes with a little pump again. Directions add a small amount to damp hands and apply it to your face followed by moisturizer use morning and night So hyaluronic acid serum a powerful hydrating complex providing an instant boost that plumps and rejuvenates the complexion Which is great. So I'm really excited to integrate that stuff into our beauty routine um, We've kind of been trying lots of products recently Receiving a lot of beauty products is amazing. I like trying new products and kind of understanding our skin and how it works and how it reacts to certain things. Yesterday, I tried the Verso um, Salicylic Acid Cleanser. I think I had to pronounce it. Felt really nice. It's really great for having um, people who have blackheads and whiteheads to kill the bacteria in those. It says acne prone skin, but it's for blackheads and whiteheads predominantly, which is what I get quality congestion through here, which is why you always might see. Mayor of Desk cream on my face around this area and stupid. Um, 
but yeah so footy was awesome yesterday the day was quite good we went to Fargo and Co in Richmond and um I was there from 11.30, like I said, till us and I left at 11 um, in the evening. Um, we each had a table and we just had some food and watched the footy and had some soda water drinks and vodka soda waters and stuff like that. Um, my boyfriend's a Collingwood supporter, so I was supporting Collingwood with a scarf on reluctantly. Um, it felt a bit yucky. I was like, ew, I want a shower. Um, but unfortunately Collingwood lost in the last couple of minutes, which was really upsetting because I was rooting for them like it was Richmond. Um, anyway, that's that. We stayed for a bit. It ended up getting so packed. Like during the game it was quite quiet, um, because I think everyone was kind of down the end of other than Swan Street near the MCG. But after the game finished, it was like a flood of people. And before I knew it, I was like, well, how did it get this busy in here? It's packed. I couldn't move. I was holding my water and it got like sprayed all over me people like bumping and elbowing and there's water everywhere um a lot of irish school friends end up coming like um josh, josh bosen and kat spanty's girlfriend who is a in the pr marketing industry in that's how we met um so a lot of irish friends there was great too but got to like 10 30 i'm like i'm really tired i really drink i was like how are you feeling i was like i could have gone home four hours ago i'm exhausted um so I left about 10 30 I'm so tired. Left at about 10.30, walked down to Burnley train station because she wanted to get out of the Richmond area by foot rather than like trying to catch an Uber or anything and walk to Burnley train station and got the train home. And it was freezing and I regret it. It was cold. But I just wanted to say that and say hello and um, give you an update because we haven't spoken to camera for a few days. But we will see you guys in the morning in another weekly vlog. Thanks for tuning in. Um, and yeah, have a great weekend guys. Bye-bye.